right. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises due to the Most High. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Akar Kadash. All right, double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Salutation to the elect. That is a brother Parathom back at it with another lesson. And today I'm just going to go on a quick lesson on, you know, in this society, Esau. You know, I'm taking a little walk because mad people is in the park. All right. The society is a society that uh tries to justify you know the wickedness that, that that's that that's going on man all right starting off with you know with these edomites these so-called white white people all right they push a you know a wicked vibration that permeates you know throughout the whole earth you know and our people you know who are the israelites all right these so-called blacks hispanics and native americans <clears throat> you know our people follow in that type of you know stead man all right they follow the ways you know of their father the god the the, the, the devil man you know and for all these things amen great judgment is about to come upon the whole earth man all right Starting off with you Edomites and you Jakes that follow in their stead, man. Okay, because guess what? The Lord gave the instructions of how in the earth is to be ruled. Right? He gave us law, statutes, and commandments, man. And out of the rule that these Edomites, hey, they have broken every single law, statute, and commandment. That the law ordained, man. And you can see the result of it by how the society is right now. It's all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of alphabet community people is dominating, you know, the society. You can't go anywhere without seeing that vile shit. All right. Transgenders. All right, the house being out of order, no man in the house, the woman being sluts. All right, the men of it effeminate. Hey, man, this world is all upside down, man. And for these things, hey, man, you know you Edomites and two thirds of our people, hey, man, you you gonna you gonna be destroyed, man. All right, so we're just gonna get a couple of scriptures. All right, nothing too crazy. All right, first off, we're going to start off with, this is Isaiah, chapter 5, Salak, chapter 5, verse 20, and it says, Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. And that's what it is, man. All right? The rulers of this world, they push, you know, wickedness as as, as if it's light. They put they, they push it as if, if it's something great, man. You know? They push it under the guise of, oh, you should be able to do whatever you want to do. But that's not how, you know, anything that, 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 that functions properly should be, man. All right? There must be rules and regulations. All right? And we have to follow the rules and regulations, all right, of the uh, 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 of the one that created the earth, man. All right, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You can't come out here and do your own thing, all right, thinking you know better than the Heavenly Father. And that's what these Edomites think, man. They know better than the Most High. All right? You know? That's why they're so filled with pride right now, man. You know, speaking about, oh, you know, a couple of months ago, a few months ago, one of these proud-ass Edomites was on there talking about, oh, we don't need the uh, 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 the most high. We don't need the sun because, you know, we could create our own uh, uh, sun. We could create our own moon. All right. We could make, uh, we could provide our own rain and all these type of things. Hey, man, the Lord is the one who gave you the ability to do these things, man. All right. You know. 
these 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 heathens are proud in their own eyes, man. But in all reality, which they ain't gonna do, they should be thanking the Heavenly Father. But more importantly, that's what we should be doing, man, you Israelites, man. All right? Thanking the Heavenly Father. Trying to, to uh, obey Him, you know, to the best of your ability. It's not a thing as hey, if you know, you, you, you're doing your own thing, man. So the scriptures say, well, I'm going to read it again. Well, it's a decent spot. It says, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitterness. And it says, woe, man. And woe means what, man? Destruction. All right? So the ways of this world, all right, is going to lead you to destruction, man. Oh, I could do what I want. You should just uh, accept everybody for what they do. Hell no, nah, man. You know, we all become one. You know, they. Where, where am I at right now? You know, oh, we all be, we all, we all, we all one and all these type of things. Hell no, nah, that's not how the Lord, you know, has has it set up. All right, it says what? Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes. And prudent in their own sight. So destruction to them, man. That are wise in their own eyes. Oh, you think you know better. All right, then you how about Shimei was shy. All right. These assholes, they don't even, they don't even rest the land, man. They work the land to death. They don't even, you know, obey the land Sabbath. All right. The, 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 the produce is, 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 you know, being smaller and smaller, man. You know. You know, this place is just under, you know, a, 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 a wicked vibration. This is why the scripture space says what? Uh, uh, uh. Let me see if I can get it. Salakia. It says when. I might get no signal out here. <laughs> yeah, this is a. Uh, Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2 and it says when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked bear rule the people mourn so the righteous are not in authority man because there ain't no rejoicing man all right matter of fact hey man everybody's fucked up out here man all right and a lot of people see that the end of America is nigh man even a lot of these goddamn Edomites out here man they prepping for shit to go down all right, college students, they 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 mourning, they they fucked up. All right, you see you, you see on TikTok and Instagram, a lot of these kids, oh well, you know, the American dream is 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 is, is, is false, is fake. All right, you know they were instructed to do all these type of things and they followed everything to a T. And, and guess what? You still fucked up, man. All right, they got people out here working at companies, 20, 30 years. I see a trucker, he did that. This this nigga lost his whole four hundred one k. All right? So, you know, in all reality, fuck this place, man. Because guess what, man? We have no continuing city. No con no continuing city, man. We not, you know, uh, 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 looking forward, you know what I mean, to the things that, you know, America and the rest of this world has to offer, man. All right? Our goal is to please the Lord. Our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? And pray for his return. And when he returns, hope that we we are one of the elect and we can get the fuck out of here, man. Alright? Because the ways of this world is death. Alright? They push the evil shit like it, like if it's something good. That's why it says whoa. Alright, so we're gonna get back to that. <laughs> Alright. It says Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Yeah, woe unto you, man. You want to do your own thing. All right? It says, woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and to men of strength to mingle strong drink. Yeah, man. And, and you know, a lot of this, uh, 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 this society, you know, all these wicked, uh, vain philosophies that they, that they push, man. All right? Hey, man, it was it is a... Uh, this is it Habakkuk? You know, it says the nations were angry. You know? You know? 
the waves of uh, 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 these uh, Edomites, man, they push this vibration through the whole earth. And guess what, man? Uh, actually, that might be a revelation. All right? Uh, the ways of this, this Edomite has corrupted the whole earth, man. All right? Deceiving the people with their wine, with their philosophies, man. All right? This LGBTQ agenda, trannies, single motherhood, uh, 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 GMO foods. You know what I'm saying? This place is just a cesspool of wickedness. It's verse 23. And this is, the, this is the point. It says, which justify the wicked for a reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. And that's what it is, man. A lot of people out here, man, they, they justify they, the, the wickedness, man. All right? A lot of these so-called black leaders, they out here taking the bag, taking the, you know, taking the bag. All right? To change up their they, they goddamn philosophies. All right? That's why a lot of these rulers around the world, they caught up. All right? Because they selling out their people for the bag, man. All right? And they trying to push uh, the agenda of the Edomites, which is a wicked agenda, man. All right? Salake says, which justify the wicked for the reward, for reward. You know what I mean? The scripture say, what? A gift destroyed the heart. All right? And ultimately, man, Esau is trying to put, play that game where he putting our backs against the wall. He's gonna try to uh, implement this uh, this MOTB. All right, you know, trying to push this uh, a basic uh, 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 human income or whatever, however they put it. All right, if you put that 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 jab, you know, in your in your hands, man. But we say what, man? Fuck him, man. All right? We out here doing what the Lord commanded us to do, man. We, it's righteousness and it's wickedness. And we're not justifying none of their, their, their goddamn wickedness, man. Because guess what, man? It's going to lead to our destruction. It's going to lead to our death. It says, woe. So it says, which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Right? And that's what they do, man. They try to they they try to uh, 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 delete the righteousness from 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 from, from you know out of the society, man. All right. You see shows about the family structure and all these. You don't see these things anymore, man. It's about the, a bunch of degeneracy, man. And the thing is, if you speak up, if you speak up against it, all right, they try to cancel you, man. All right. But this is why, you know, we love doing what we do because guess what? We're under the the, the, the hedge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And when you come into this truth, you understand, man, hey, man, you might have to die for the Lord's sake, man. It is what it is, man. We have to keep our integrity until the end, all right? Not because of the fear of losing our life. Here is the scripture saying, oh, the, the Lord didn't give us a spirit of fear. All right, and we know we're going to be back here anyway, and we know, you know, we're really going to be. If you die, you're really going to be getting, uh, you know, your rest. All right, the dead in your house shy shall arise first. We're going to be first joint heirs with the Lord, so we know what death entails, man. All right, you know, but you know, this is the society we live in, man. The justification of wickedness, you know, for a reward. That's why you see a lot of these actors. I think it was uh, Kevin Hart. They, uh, no, I ain't gonna say his name. Uh, I said his name. Oh, I'll never uh, put on a dress and do this and do that and do this. And guess what, man? For the bag, niggas do that shit. All right, the scriptures speak about what? What is it worth? Uh, 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 what, what is it worth uh, to gain the whole world and lose your soul, man? So why would you justify the wickedness for a reward? You're losing your soul. What can you give in exchange in your, for your soul? You can't even... How are you selling your soul, man? That ain't even yours to sell. All right? But this is what it is, man. Your justification of, of goddamn wickedness in this place, man. All right? This is... Uh, it's a couple of scriptures, you know what I'm saying? This is Proverbs chapter 
24, verse 24. And it says, all right. It says, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 24. It says, He that said unto the wicked, Thou art righteous, him shall the people curse, nations shall abhor him. All right? So guess what, man? These people are out here saying, uh, 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 the ways of this world, all right, is great. All right, the ways, you know, hey, we could do what you want to do. Guess what, man? You in for a world of hurt, man. All right? You know? A lot of you people in these other camps, man, you justifying, you, you're you not putting out what the MOTB really is. Guess what, man? You're going to have problems in the upcoming days, man. If you're not saying what the MOTB is, which is the RFID microchip, man. All right? These are the things that should be pushed, man. But if you 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 under a five hundred one c three charters and you got gag orders and all these type of things, guess what, man? Your congregation gonna turn on you eventually, man. You guys are playing with fire. All right. So it says Proverbs twenty four verse twenty four. It says, "He that he that said unto the wicked, Thou art righteous; him shall the people curse; nation shall abhor him." So all you fake ass, false ass prophets out here, that's not telling the people the truth guess what you're gonna have a lot of problems in the upcoming days man all right you're gonna have a lot of issues all right in these upcoming days it says but to them that rebuke him shall be the light and a good blessing shall come upon him and, and that's what that's what we're here to do man we're here to rebuke you know the ways of this world man all right according to the scriptures all right, because this world is nothing but, hey, man, degeneracy, wickedness, it's vile, it's dirty. All right, and we're here to rebuke it, man. This this world is not in accordance with our Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Hell no. Nah. And the Lord sent out his men, all right, to denounce this shit, man. And ultimately, you know, Lord willing, we the elect. All right, we going to get that prize. We want to get we want to be one of those men that stood stiffly. You know, for the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and not the ways of this world, man. Fuck this world. Ain't nothing here for us. Ain't nothing here for us, man. All right? We are to carry ourselves to the best of our ability in the stead of our Lord, man. In all things. In all things, I was just talking with a brother earlier. You know what I mean? You you, you got to apply the scriptures in every asset of your life. Wake up in the morning, you, you you know, your family, you know, your job, your business, or whatever it is you got going on, man, your health. You apply the scriptures in every asset of your life. You can't be one-dimensional. You know, we were speaking about that. You know? I'm going to edit off here with one more, one more scripture. This is Proverbs chapter 17. It was going to be a walk and talk, but uh, I found a good seat. This is Proverbs chapter 17, verse 15. It says, He that justified the wicked and he condemned the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. That's right. The justification of the wickedness. And you know, a lot of our people, they do that shit. A lot of our women, they do that shit. Justify the ways of the so-called white man. All right? And when it comes to the scriptures, when it comes to the men of the Lord, all right, they talk down. Oh, you do it to get some jobs. Uh, 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 uh. That was the old way of doing things. The old way worked, man. Clearly. The things of this world, it ain't, ain't nothing working, man. Your family all fucked up. Your kids all fucked up. Your diet all fucked up. All right? All the products is all fucked up. Okay? But you know, the vast majority of our people, man, they condemn the just, man. They look down upon the men of the Lord. 
And guess what? For that, the Lord is going to look down upon you, man. Ain't no justifying uh, 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 the wickedness of this world, man. Oh, what, what do it matter to you? What do it, what do it matter to you? Hey, man, the Lord don't like it. We don't like it, man. Fuck that. Everybody's human and every... Hey, man. Keep that shit away from me and mines, man. That's how you know you're pushing wickedness. Because if, if if everybody had, could, could could have a belief system, what about this, the belief system of the scriptures, man? Why do they, do, they denounce it so uh, vigorously, man? So I'm going to read that again. This is Proverbs chapter 17, verse 15. He that justified the wicked and he that condemned the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. So they are detestable to the Lord, man. All right? We're not trying to look for favor in the eyes of men. Or your mama, or your, you know, your daddy, or your, hey, or your kids. We're trying to be, have that favor, all right? Of the Lord, of our Lord, Yahweh Yahushua. We're trying to find favor in Him. All right. Fuck these people. Up. Fuck this world, man. Fuck the people of this world. All right. Fuck our. Hey, man. The scriptures speak about the multitude. Uh, 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 that's gonna perish, man. The scriptures speak about what two thirds of our people that's gonna be cut off and die, man. All right. So our main aim is is to plead the uh, uh, please the Lord, man. Ain't no justifying the wicked. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises due to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakhakadash. Until next time, Shalom.